Hello, Grace Point Church. It's Pastor Mike, and you'll notice I am not in the wilderness anymore. Remember last week when we did this video, we were in the wilderness because we were preparing for Revelation. It's like going through the book of Revelation is kind of like going through the wilderness. But guess what? We did it. Last, last week, we covered Revelation chapters 1 through 20. We're still going to be in Revelation. This week and next week, we're going to cover the last two chapters. So that's going to be fun. But we're kind of out of the wilderness now. Now we're, now we're into a place that, that, that we know and we're a little bit more familiar with. And so I'm in the front doors of our church because I want you to be thinking about what you bring with you to church when you come through these doors over these next few weeks. It's this, finding your spiritual gifts. Hopefully all of you had a chance to grab this. We are on a mission to figure out who we are. And part of increasing our self-awareness and part of becoming equipped to serve God and figure out, God, how do I uniquely uh, fall into your uh, plans? How, how does my story interact with your story, God? Is this, it's what are the spiritual gifts that God has given you? We believe that every Christian has been given spiritual gifts by God to be used for the benefit of of his church and for the benefit of his world. So we are going to begin having conversations about this because your gift set is really cool. It shouldn't be a secret. Uh, we This should really be shared. We should know what are the spiritual gifts that are represented in our church and how can we celebrate them? How can we uh, pray about them? How can we work together as a body like we talked about uh, last month? How do we all work together to figure out um, how we can accomplish God's mission together. That's what this is all about. So some of you who are in small groups, you're already going to be talking about this this month. But during November, this is the time for us to chat together and share what our spiritual gifts are. And then we're going to do some more follow-up with this stuff um, as we get into uh, the rest of the year. Look at the wind is blowing. It's blowing open these pages. And that's a perfect cue because I want to show you that at the very end, after you fill out this little test, it's not like a test, it's just like a little questionnaire, it takes you 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you'll see at the very back is question number one on page 13. And it says, all right, now can you write down what your dominant three gifts are and what your subordinate three gifts are? I hope that you have a chance to do this. And then during Sermon 2.0, over the next few weeks, that's right after the sermon, we eat some snacks and then we can get around at some tables. I would love for you to bring this with you and have a discussion with Kaylin and Aaron. And we'll, we'll be able to have a few weeks of just being able to share this. Uh, that's going to be one of the easiest ways for you to be able to have a meaningful conversation. Just do it right after the, the service. And so I'm encouraging you, as you come into these doors, either take a picture of this and have it on your phone or actually bring this in with you and we're going to have a conversation about what that is. We can answer any questions. We can have a fun conversation. We can pray together and that's what we want to do this month. We really want to make sure everyone in our church has an opportunity um, to have a meaningful conversation about this. So that's the reminder. Uh, this week, come prepared uh, to hear another sermon on Revelation. Hopefully the last one didn't freak you out too much, but hopefully you're ready for more. We're going to look at the last two chapters of Revelation, and then we're going to begin having some of these conversations, which is just going to be really helpful for us and really exciting, I think, for our church moving forward. So, uh, so come ready with that.